I just wanted to share this tool with you real quick. This is called Handbrake and this is the icon for it over here in the bar over here. Now Handbrake can be used to uh, encode videos in different formats so you can convert from like MKV to MOV to MP4 stuff like that. Now in the past I had used um, FFmpeg which is a command line tool and works great. You can do practically anything with it but sometimes you just don't feel like messing around with it and, and working with things on the command line. You just want a quick tool to just convert your files. And now this comes up a lot with, uh, especially with Mac OS, because a lot of times I'll be recording videos on like Linux or Windows. And then when I, I uh, transfer them over to my Mac to edit them, uh, that the Mac just can't handle them. Now I, I can use a tool like VLC to play my files in other formats, but if I use QuickTime, it won't play it. And when I use Final Cut Pro like this over here, it just it will it will say hey we can't we don't support this format which is crazy you would think you know Apple and Final Cut Pro of of all you know systems out there would support practically every format there is but they just don't because they want to force you to do things the Mac way which is frustrating um, you know Macs are all shiny and pretty and nice and everything but they 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 can be really frustrating sometimes so you know I, I still love my Mac OS and working with Mac stuff but it, it does drive me nuts sometimes there's a whole lot more freedom and flexibility with um, uh, with obviously Linux, but also to be honest with Windows. But um, yeah, still a ton of benefits of using a Mac too. So uh, I, I basically hop around between different systems. But uh, yeah, anyways, basically here's an example of what you can do. Just drag this file over in here and it's going to read it. And then you can just say, um, like it'll, it gives you formats to choose from like MP4, um, MKV, WebM, and you know, there's all sorts of options you can use you know, the video encoder, the frame rate, all sorts of stuff you can poke around and mess around with, which is terrific. And when you want to encode it, you just hit start. So you, you could hit start like that and it's going to start encoding it. I'm going to stop it because I don't really need to do that. And um, yeah, I don't need that one encoded today, but this is a common thing it has been coming up for me for years. And I've always just used FFmpeg, but um, this is a really popular tool that people like, and it's just faster to just quick drag something on here, convert it, and then you can continue on with your workflow. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to use this, FFmpeg is also a great tool to work with. And uh, FFmpeg it will work on uh, other platforms like uh, Linux and stuff like that too. So, uh, and um, honestly, I I have not checked if Handbrake works on other platforms, but I know it's working on my Mac. Um, I generally don't need it on Linux, but if you do, um, I, honestly, off the top of my head, I'm not sure if it's supported there. But in any case, great tool for Mac OS. If you're, if you're looking for something like this, you want to be able to this, you know, switch encodings really quick, re-encode videos and not have to worry about the specifics of different tracks and like your audio track and your, your, your video track and all those different things. Like does it support ACC? Does it support, you know, what, what type of audio is supported on the system? You can just make it a whole lot easier with this. So yeah, anyways, just wanted to share that. Um, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.